frequency shifting property of Fourier transform. Fourier transform of xt is x omega, then where x omega is integration of xt e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Then what should be the Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t x t so let us find the Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t x t now this will be the integration of x t e to the power j omega naught t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. So the Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t x t is integration of x t e to the power minus j omega minus omega naught t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now if I compare the two expressions x omega and the Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t x t then this will be x omega minus omega naught in place of for x omega we have just omega for here we have omega minus omega naught so this term is x of omega minus omega naught it means if Fourier transform of xt is x omega then Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t xt is x omega minus omega naught and for a transform of e to the power minus j omega naught t xt is x omega plus omega naught. Now we can write the frequency shifting property of Fourier transform in terms of f also. The Fourier transform of xt is xf. Then Fourier transform of e to the power j 2 pi f naught t xt is xf minus f naught. And Fourier transform of e to the power minus j 2 pi f naught t xt is xf plus f naught <coughs> sorry now uh, let us uh, let's see one example of this frequency shifting property of Fourier transform Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi del omega so Fourier transform of e to the power j omega naught t into 1. This should be 2 pi del omega minus omega naught. Similarly, Fourier transform of e to the power minus j omega naught t into 1 should be 2 pi del omega 
प्लस ओमेगा प्लस ओमेगा नॉट सो दैट्स हाउ वी फाइंड दी फोरिया ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ सिग्नल्स यूजिंग दी फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्टिंग ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फोरिया ट्रांसफॉर्म